Hello everyone, this is Robin with Robin's Creation. It's been a while since I have uh, brought a video to you. Summer gets in the way and I had a college student home. So she is all moved in and I'm ready to uh, get back to sharing more videos. So I went to my mailbox just a minute ago and look what I have. My August paper pumpkin kit. So I thought I would do a live unboxing for you. If you are new to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe and also like this video. If you are a current subscriber, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. So let's get to it. I already took the plastic wrap off just for convenience, but I haven't even opened it yet. So I wanted to share this with you. Okay. Wow, a nice spool of ribbon. It doesn't say how much it is but it looks like it's the blackberry bliss color hope you can see that it's got a little grain to it if I take the plastic off it might not shine as much and you can maybe see that well I have all thumbs trying to get this off let me get some scissors and cut this so what I do usually is I just pinch it to get the plastic up to the top and snip that off there can you see that it's got a little grain to it very nice ribbon it's nice and soft and the stamp set I have to say I've been looking forward to this kit I love all the Shelly kits let me find a piece of paper to stick behind here it's my shipping label all right it says always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring just a note of hope, a hope, a flower, a nice butterfly, another little butterfly, some splatter, and there is faith. So I guess you would say where there is hope, there is faith. And so, and then this one, last one, where there is faith, miracles happen. So a nice stamp set. And let me just jump into um, how I store my stamp sets. A lot of you guys ask that question. And I do these little, um, I think they're Avery L envelopes. And these were for smaller stamp sets that we've received from Paper Pumpkin. And for the larger ones, I store them in these large, um, larger envelopes. And then I have a fridge bin. Let me bring this over. It's probably going to be... Yeah, let me just get the box out of the way a second so it's not so close. So, as you can see, I store them that way. And then also wood-mounted stamps that I have unmounted from the wood blocks, I store there. Same way, I do my paper pumpkins uh, by date. I have a strange memory. I can kind of remember what date stamp sets were in. So, I will be adding this one. It, doesn't look like it's going to fit in a small so it'll go in a large and it'll go in the front so that way I always have them handy to use um, throughout other projects so let me scoot this out of the way all right let's see back to the box we have blackberry bliss ink spot this is a repeat color for me so I will add it to my um, collection of extras so what I do is I use up the one I receive first until it needs re-inked and then I generally rinse that one out and re-ink it with another color I don't have a spot of and then grab this new one so it saves me from re-inking another one this explains the box how nice and then let me tell you what everyone should do whether you're going to do this box now or maybe three months from now because uh, Stampin' Up! has updated their policy. They want you to go through your contents as soon as possible so that if you're missing something or have a defective item, then you call them right away and they will make it right. So what I do is I take off this sheet, leave it on here, and I get a scratch sheet of paper. It could even be the back side of your shipping label that comes. All right, and so I'm going to ink that up. I have a larger, um, 
like Sahara sand. I just pick a light one to start with and I ink it up right away to test all my stamps. So even if you don't have time to do this project this month, go ahead and open it, check out all your contents, and check your stamp set. So I hope that inked them all. Let me see if I got the side one. All right. So now, let's flip that over. And just press. I know I should have my uh, stamp and pierce mat. Let me get that out. I don't know if that'll help. It may have been fine as it was. Okay, and it looks like all my stamps work fine. I'm sure this note of maybe just didn't get inked, so I'm going to try that one again. Whoops, I don't want to get ink on my pierce mat. Right, I think I see it's shiny. Let's try that one again just to make sure that one is not defective. So gentle pressure. Yep, and it was fine. So that's that, and then I would clean it with my chamois, which is currently soaking right now to get wet again because it was dry, so I'll clean that off later. All right, close up this. Okay, now to the content. Don't lose your little plastic sheet. I really like to cover mine with that. So this explains the box of what Shelly, it was inspired by Shelly. And I always like the back because it gives some other ideas. Although that just shows how she decorated her box afterwards. And it gives some examples of what to include in your hope box. That's nice. Okay, now to the good stuff, right? Get that paper out of the way. Oh, I like the bling right away. So in case you're wondering, the instructions are always on the bottom. So behind this cardboard piece. Get my scissors again. Let's snip into that. Looks like nothing is damaged so far. Be careful when you're doing your scissors that you don't ever, probably should have started up here where there's no contents of the box. Okay, that garbage. All right, so here's our glue dots, which I love these. Um, they're also good for adding a bling that won't stick real well, or if you accidentally pull it up without the bling. I always use a glue dot. Some pretty multicolored, is that called iridescent gems? And then of course the Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, and right away I can tell, look at these envelopes. Wow. So let me get my instructions first so I should tell what all we have. Enough cards. There's the coordinating colors, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Melon Mambo, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Poppy Parade. And here's some examples they did. Well, am I missing where the list of contents should be? It seems like it used to be there. Maybe I'll find it inside. I do like how they've changed the insides to uh, colorful picture instructions versus written instructions and it tells you exactly what to use um, you know what they did the dimensionals the glue dots how many bling of course as you know I never really follow this <laughs> I generally do my own uh, thinking outside the box ideas so let's get back to the envelope so there's one two three of these and this is what they look like on the front. And this is the back. I can already think these are gonna be alternatives and I'll add my own Whisper White envelopes. So there were three of those. There's three of these, because I think this could, it was intended to make nine cards. Beautiful 
beautiful. All right, and the last three, this. I can see this would go well with that express, Expressions in Ink collection that we did uh, in June. There's the back. Get my hand out of the way. All right, so I do have nine envelopes, that's good. And then we have some die cut pieces. These are not stickers, just die cut, which is just fine. We have three of these. Do you see that? Oh, and then some nice, I guess, card front pieces. Those are really nice. A little watercolor, watercolor wash type piece. Hmm. That's just a white piece. Not sure what that's intended for, but I'm sure it's in the instructions. Then we have some die cut uh, words again these are not stickers just words and in multiple languages because I believe this kit is going global whoops getting outside the camera there okay we have die cuts it's a circle and some rectangles so the good thing about that is you can always recreate a lot more a lot more labels with circles and rectangles Okay, more card fronts. I can see that on this one right here. Nice. Cute little butterfly uh, die cuts. Where's that white piece? Let's get the labels. Cute. These are uh, laser cut, so it has some detail in them. And these are nice colored butterflies. All right, and then we have our card bases. So, unfortunately, they're not both sides. I love it when they're double-sided because then I cut them in half and add my own card bases. So there's three of these. Oh, okay. And more butterfly. That's a large piece. That's, I bet they used... Um, nope, it's on that card right there, the... The hope card that's really nice and detailed so that's another laser cut piece and we have one two three of those and we have this piece and this is for to decorate your box and it's really nice that they included that see it's nice and large to go all the way around your box okay but more card bases my instructions keep falling. Okay, one, two, three of these. And my guess is that's for this back up here, this hope. And more labels. So again, you get one of each language. Always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. And that's a stamp that we had. So you could make more of those. A nice little tag. Although it looks like this large one is meant for the box. That's what they did. And these nice little laser cut flowers. See those? More die cuts. Again, in several different languages. And that is for the same card. So I'm finding the elements of those right away. Three more card fronts. You see those are all together. These are kind of sporadic throughout the box. Okay. And then one huge, I'll just use the cardboard, flower, which they put on the box. And that nice ribbon. It looks like they just used the ribbon around the box. That's all I see. But we'll, we'll see what we come up with. So, oops, I'm out of the camera again. Nice butterfly and laser cut flowers. All right, so that is the contents for the August Hope Box. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I got mine extra early this month. Sometimes it's really late and I just never know when it's coming. I was surprised to see it in my mailbox today. So, 
If you would like to start your subscription with me, you would receive one of these envelopes to put your stamp sets in that I shared. The Avery L envelopes. This is a small one, but this one will require a larger one. And also, the way I store my ink spots are, I have an old clamshell. This is what our wood, that's my old address anyway, so it doesn't matter if I show it. Um, these old clamshells that the wood cases used to go in. And of course, I store them upside down. So as you can see, this is the label that they come with. And this is upside down. So you would also receive a square of the coordinating color, which this month is Blackberry Bliss, that we put on the bottom of the ink spot so that you can store it upside down and still see what color that is. So we write in our, the name of it and then I put it in this box. Other people have cut, found other little boxes. Um, the large boxes that we had last year, a lot of people stored their ink spots in it, but there's multiple boxes out on the market that are small enough to hold the ink spots. And of course you can use those forever and ever. I do always suggest you purchasing the refill to your spots so that, because uh, they're little and not a lot of ink is in there. So if you use it a lot, you're going to use up the ink in there pretty, pretty quick. So anyway, I will have a link in the description box, the description below of how to subscribe uh, under me for Paper Pumpkin. And I will also include a host code for August if you'd like to place any orders through me. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you uh, receive yours soon. And everybody have a great day. Thanks a lot.